the stuff that he gets. David especially... Wood is hilarious. <laughs> I hung out with him at ETS, and he. Oh, believe me, I know David. He, you know how rock stars act when they're like not being, they're not on stage. David Wood is like the rock star of Christian apologist. Like behind the scenes, he's just a wild man, but he's so fun to hang out with. <laughs> London-based group calling themselves the Muslim Patrol has finally managed to flip my annoy me switch and now it's on. In the latest video, the Sharia Avengers harass a homosexual man for the way he's dressed and for wearing makeup. I've managed to squeeze this 240 pounds of awesomeness into the only garment in my wife's dresser stretchy enough to hold it. But this raises an important question. James White's book endorsed by a Jesuit. Seems kind of strange. I mean, uh, James White is, proclaims to be a, a Calvinist and things like this, and uh, most Calvinists throughout history have been very much anti-Roman Catholic. People say, well, he debated Roman Catholics. Oh, uh, yeah, but there's things within the Jesuit oath that say about speaking against your own holy church. against the Roman Catholic Church as a Jesuit. So that's not really proving anything. But let me show you the quote here. Here I have the two books, the earlier edition and then the later edition, attacking Bible-believing Christians. And of course, you know, the little Jesuit game that uh, White and his followers play is they say, he's not attacking those who use the King James Bible. He's, he's not attacking the King James Bible. Just the fact that he goes through and tries to point out errors in the King James Bible and, and mocks and puts down those who use the King James Bible, but he's not attacking 
okay, little mind control tactic that these Jesuits are good for. You know, they, they use uh, sophistry, Jesuitical sophistry, well, they, where they will say that they're not doing something while they're doing it. Playing little word games is what it is, mind control. But anyhow, let me just show you here the quote. Zoom in here. Here we have uh, Norman Geisler. This is the best book in print on a topic too often riddled with emotion and ignorance. Same thing in the newer edition right there. You have it. All right. There you go. There you go. You say, what's this have to do with a Jesuit? Norman Geisler is a Jesuit. Let me show you the proof. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here. Well, that's, can you get my, uh, the camera there over at my desk? Forgot to I'll put my camera over there. Got to get it here. Um, around the other way. This is Dunka. All right. I'm going to go kind of low tech. I don't have Camta Camtasia on this computer. So I'm just going to use a little digital camera here just to show you. Um, show you what's on the internet here. Here we have normangeisler.com about Norman Geisler. Okay, there he is. Norman Geisler, PhD, is a prolific author, veteran professor, speaker, lecturer, blah, 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 blah. Cross between, I thought this was interesting, Thomas Aquinas and Billy Graham. Uh, I wouldn't want to be associated with either man. But down here it says, um, Norm has authored or co-authored all these books and blah, blah. You know, he's taught theology, philosophy, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. It talks about in the Bible, book of Colossians there. Um, Professor uh, Veritas Evangelical Seminary. It sounds kind of Catholic to me. But um, here's his education list. Now here's where it's interesting. First of all, you have Wheaton College right there. That's Billy Graham's, which Billy Graham is a sellout to the Vatican. But here's the big one. How about, how about Loyola University in Chicago? And he got a PhD in philosophy. You know? <laughs> yeah, okay. PhD in philosophy. Here you have it again. Norman Geisler. This is a Moody Bible publisher right there. Norman Geisler, Loyola University, PhD, Loyola University. All right, and I'll just show you here really quickly this Veritas Evangelical Seminary, you know, defending the faith. You know, again, it's, it's a very Catholic thing there. And I know the Bible says, you know, earnestly contending for the faith, but defending the faith, that's very much Catholic, what they say. So, hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to show you something else here in just a minute, but that uh, also will tie into this thing very nicely. But you say, people say, well, he just, look, he just went to, uh, you know, um, Loyola University. Okay, you know, so it's named after Ignatius de Loyola, you know, and uh, the founder of the Jesuit order. Uh, you know, big deal. He just went, he got a degree that doesn't make him a Jesuit. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, some guy of his level that goes to a Jesuit, openly Jesuit school, and then ends up teaching in liberal, you know, universities like Dallas Theological Seminary, uh, he's a Jesuit. Don't tell me that you can go through Jesuit schooling and come out somehow opposing the views of the Jesuits. I mean, give me a break. I mean, you know, if you're one of James White's followers, maybe you're stupid enough to believe that. But, uh, you know, Bible believers have been around for a while. We know better. Mm -hmm.